Good morning everybody and it's Monday the 11th of May 2020. Lovely to see you this morning. Needless to say I'm inside because that wind and the wind last night was quite something so I do hope garden fences and any new plants are okay. So lovely to see you this morning and as we gather together for worship we are still in our Easter season and our prayers today this is also the beginning of Christian Aid Week so our prayers today will be focusing on that. So let us just draw, take a breath and come into God's worship here for morning of prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 145. And the refrain is, Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. I will exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name for ever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is beyond all searching out. One generation shall praise your works to another and declare your mighty acts. They shall speak of the majesty of your glory, and I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. They shall speak of the might of your marvellous acts, and I will also tell of your great of your greatness. They shall pour forth the story of your abundant kindness, and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. The Lord is loving to everyone, and his mercy is over all his creatures. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom 
and speak of your mighty power, to make known all peoples your mighty acts and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is sure in all his words and faithful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and fill all things living with plenty. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over those who love him, but all the wicked shall he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. King of the universe, you show the bright glory of your reign in acts of mercy and enduring love. Raise the spirits of the downcast and restore those who have fallen away, that we may sing forever of your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Our reading this morning is from Numbers, chapter 9, verses 15 to the end, and then 10, 33 to the end. On the day the tabernacle was set up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, the tent of the covenant, and from evening until morning it was over the tabernacle, having the appearance of fire. It was also so. The cloud covered it by day and appearance of fire by night. Whenever the cloud lifted from over the tent, then the Israelites would set out, and in the place where the cloud settled down, there the Israelites would camp. At the command of the Lord, the Israelites would set out, and at the command of the Lord, they would camp, as long as the cloud rested over the tabernacle and would remain in camp. Even when the cloud continued over the tabernacle for many days, the Israelites would keep the charge of the Lord and would not set out. Sometimes the cloud would remain for a few days over the tabernacle and according to the command of the Lord, they would remain in camp. Then according to the command of the Lord, they would set out. Sometimes the cloud would remain from evening until morning. And when the cloud lifted in the morning, they would set out. Or if it continued for a day and a night, when the cloud lifted, they would set out whether it was two days or a month or a longer time that the cloud continued over the tabernacle, resting upon it, the Israelites would remain in camp and would not set out. But when it lifted, they would set out. At the command of the Lord, they would camp, and at the command of the Lord, they would set out. They kept the charge of the Lord at the command of the Lord by Moses. So they set out from the Mount of the Lord on three days' journeys, with the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord going before them for three days' journey, to seek out a resting place for them, the cloud of the Lord being over them by day when they set out from the camp. Whenever the Ark set out, Moses would say, Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered and your foes flee away. And whenever it came to rest, he would say, 
Return, O Lord of the ten thousand thousands of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for our canticle this morning. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invisible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. Our second reading this morning is from Luke and it's chapter 4, verses 38 to the end. After leaving the synagogue, he entered Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever and they asked him about her. Then he stood over her and rebuked the fever and it left her. Immediately she got up and began to serve them. As the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various kinds of diseases brought them to him and he laid his hands on each of them and cured them. Demons also came out of many shouting, you are the son of God, but he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Messiah. At daybreak, he departed and went into a deserted place and the crowds were looking for him. And when they reached him, they wanted to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also. For I was sent for this purpose. So he continued proclaiming the message in the synagogues of Judea. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first roots of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? And now for the Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear 
holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Now for our time of prayer together this morning, which, as I mentioned earlier, um, is from uh, Christian Aid. They've given us some prayers to focus on. But in all our prayers, we very much keep in our hearts and minds all that is going on around us this morning um, and for those who have specifically asked for our prayers today. And this week is actually the 60th anniversary of Christian Aid Week. And here's some prayers. The first of these prayers is from 1958. Let us pray. Let us pray for grateful hearts, for sympathetic hearts, for generous hearts and wills quick to help and persistent in effort that our nation and government may give generous, generously for a relief of refugees and be ready to help them find new homes and new homelands, that all nations may be free from fear and from want. Amen. And another prayer from 1958. O Holy Spirit of love, quicken our imaginations that we may feel more deeply for the needs of others as we put ourselves in their place. Give us hearts of self-forgetting compassion which will move us to give from that which you have given us and to be good neighbours to those both near and far for the sake of him who taught us that it is more blessed to give than receive, even Jesus our Lord. Amen. O Christ our Lord, who came in homelessness, that you might find a home in us, and that everyone would find a home in you. We bring before you at this time all who are homeless, in exile or in suffering. Grant them the sense of being held fast in you and enable all who love you to strive together for a world which shall be closer to your kingdom in which all may live together as a family, each caring for all and all caring for each, for the sake of peace. Amen. And a prayer for the 60th anniversary of Christian Aid Week. As a diamond catches the light and reflects it into a kaleidoscope of colours. We give thanks, O oh God, for the mirrored acts of kindness, generosity and love over six decades of Christian Aid Week. We pray for the willingness of collectors, for the generosity of neighbours, 
for the donations of cakes, books and works of art, for the concerts, recitals and dramatic performances, for the walk cycles and sponsored swims, for the bowls of soup, pots of coffee and cups of tea, for the posters, bunting and banners displayed, for the heads and hearts that have been changed, for the prayers spoken and campaign postcards signed, for the acts of worship and stories shared, for the calls of justice, challenging the causes of poverty, challenging the causes of poverty and the millions of envelopes weighed with the coins of light with notes for the checks and the texts to give to get to give to donate most of all we give thanks for the millions of lives transformed so that together we may all flourish amen and so many of the prayers there are so true for all that is going on around us today so in a moment of quiet, we name on our hearts or out aloud, wherever we may be, for, no, for those that we know who are struggling in body, mind or spirit. For those who feel isolated or lonely. For all our key workers, particularly at the start of this week, when the easing or a slight bit of easing of lockdown may be taking place. So Lord, where there may be uncertainty and anxiety, we pray for all of those. And we remember those who mourn the loss of loved ones. For those his funeral takes place today, as I will be doing so later this morning. And for those whose anniversary falls at this time. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And our collect for today. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, has overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you all, all those that you love and pray for, for this day and always. Amen. No bird song, I'm afraid, this morning. So thank you for joining us and Compline at seven o'clock tonight. Otherwise, it will be morning prayer in the morning. God bless. Whatever you do, keep safe, keep connected and keep praying and have a good day. Bye bye now. Bye-bye.